first I upload a video to explain about the different type of tea in my water bottle and its benefit. Because I have time on my hand, on Sunday I upload a video that is food related from the philosophy that eating healthy shouldn't be chores, shouldn't cost on life, shouldn't tip for a pet, or all three above. Now, today's tea is not something that I ever thought I would prepare, but then again, I never thought I'd be in the same position as my aunt 20 years ago. Now, I first know about this particular type of tea when my aunt made it for my cousin after she complained one too many times about the weight gain during the winter. It is absolutely natural for people to gain weight during the winter. It's the way body cope with the combat chill. You will gain a little blubber. It's absolutely normal to gain weight in the winter time. But then again, my cousin was in her teenage years, therefore complaining is normal, I suppose. Anyway, my aunt got a little fed up, therefore I'm pretty sure she manipulated the recipe a little bit. Originally, this is called Sun Mei Tang, basically translate to sour plum soup. Nowadays, it's called Chu Yu Jie Ni Cha, basically roughly translated as a weight loss tea. Now, the original recipe consists of black plum, which is relatively sweet if you get a good quality, and hawthorn, sanza. It's a little sour once it's cooked. I'm pretty sure my aunt went a little heavy hand on the hawthorn, so my cousin would um, not complain as much, but she was made to drink the whole pot of tea. So I don't think I ever heard my cousin complain about it afterwards. This tea is intended purpose is for weight loss. However, I did ask grandma about it when I saw her laughing at my aunt's aunt with my cousin. She explained that the other purpose for this tea was to induce appetite during the summertime. So even though if you don't believe this tea is for weight loss or for inducing appetite, each ingredient does have a benefit, I would recommend to keep an open mind. So let's move this to the kitchen. First ingredient for this tea is wu mei, which translate is kind of prune, high in antioxidant, vitamin C, A, as well as minerals such as calcium, potassium. In traditional Chinese medicine, it can treat cough and clear large intestine. It's not recommended for a female who having their visitor consume this particular tea though. Next ingredient is Sanza. Sanza, which translate is dry health fix or hawthorn. It can help improve heart health and has calming property. Naturally increased blood flow, improve appetite. It contains vitamin C and antioxidant. It is extremely sour, therefore it does help digestion, especially with food that are a bit fatty or heavy. Originally, this two ingredient will be what made the um, Sun Mei Tang or weight loss tea. However, I did recently stumble on a video by Luo Yisu, which is a traditional Chinese medical doctor. He added two more ingredients to this tea, which I decided to try it anyway. So its next ingredient is roselle or luo shenhua. It's a species of hibiscus. It's extremely sour in flavor. It's kind of mild laxative. In Chinese traditional medicine, it's used to prevent heat stroke, increase blood flow. When you use it to bathe, it does give a natural reddish glow. It's revered for its anti-aging property. The last ingredient he used is gan cha, which is Chinese licorice. It's mildly sweet in flavor. It helps ease pain, nausea, prevent heat stroke, and prevent cough. But we're using it for a sweet property because two of the four ingredients is extremely sour. Once everything in the pot, add water, cover, bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then it's drinkable. Once it's boiled, turn off the fire. It smells exactly as I remembered it. Cheers. I can see why my cousin never complained about weight gain again.